This video is to illustrate how to properly configure the Load Moment Indicator, or LMI, for a Spider Crane 300 Series Crane. To set up the LMI, begin by pressing the button to the right of the crane icon in the upper right corner of the LMI. This populates a series of submenus on the left side of the LMI. The first submenu relates to the boom configuration, followed by the outrigger configuration, searcher hook selection, and basket selection. It is very important that you make a selection for each of these four categories before attempting to operate the crane. First, open the boom menu by pressing the button to the left of the boom icon. This will open five boom options, main boom only, jib zero degrees, jib 20 degrees, jib 40 degrees, and jib 60 degrees. Choose the configuration that is suitable for your lift by pressing the corresponding button. Your selection will turn a dark shade of blue. To confirm your selection, press the Enter key, identified by three arrows in a circle on the keypad. Once confirmed, the LMI will return you to the Configuration submenu for our next selection. Next, press the button to the left of the Outrigger icon to move into the Outrigger Configuration menu. Select your Outrigger Configuration by pressing the button next to the Outrigger's Maximum, Outrigger's Mid, or Outrigger's Min option. Once selected, press the Enter key to confirm and return to the main submenu. Next, select the Searcher Hook icon to move to the Searcher Hook Selection menu. If you are using a jib and searcher hook for your lift, select the top option. When operating normally and not utilizing a jib for your lift, you should select the second icon that shows a searcher hook icon with a red X. Press the Enter key to confirm. Lastly, the LMI requires you to input if you are utilizing a work platform with your crane. Select the top icon if you are utilizing a work platform or the second option to utilize the crane without a work platform. Press Enter to confirm. Once you have confirmed this last option, the picture in the middle of your screen should resemble the current configuration of your crane. If no changes are necessary, press the Enter button to confirm. This will return you to the main LMI setup screen. As stated earlier, it is very important that you make a selection for each of these shown categories before attempting to operate the crane. Here's the biggest problem that occurs when setting up the 300 series crane. When you go through the options, you only make the op choices that you feel are relevant, like your boom and your outriggers, but you leave the searcher hook and the basket empty and you end up with a never-ending error loop. When you do this, and you will, here's how you fix it. You must make a selection in each of the categories that are available, and only after you make a selection in each of the categories will you get to the working screen. Before we can operate the crane, there is one more important option we must configure, which is the parts of line you are using for your lift. Underneath the crane icon, you will notice an icon with a hook and number on it. Press the button next to this icon to change the number. Once you select the number that corresponds to the parts of line your crane is configured for, press the Enter key to confirm. After a series of quick tests, you will reach the working screen. You are now ready to do a lift. While lifting with your spider crane, the working screen will depict important information about your load and crane. From the top down, you will see the tip height, boom length, boom angle, working radius, actual weight of the load on the hook, and your maximum capacity of the crane based on the configuration of the crane entered into the LMI during setup. Although these videos are to aid you in the familiarization of the spider crane, please reference and follow all manufacturers' operating and safety recommendations.